Hey there, pipe smokers. How are we doing today? So, I showed you that monstrosity of a of a pipe, the uh, big poker-looking style uh, peach tree pipe. Well, I got to playing around with some things and decided I was going to try for a different one. Now, the second try is a little little more traditional but still unorthodox so I'm gonna uh, point the camera at it and give you a little play-by-play uh, -play on it and see what happens here so this is my pipe uh, I don't have a stem for it I usually use this one for it um, I just started kind of carving it around to a square and then I started sanding and once I got kind of a shape that I wanted I took some uh, drill bits that I modified and started drilling my bowl there I wanted kind of the rounded angle I kind of like the finger feel um, pretty deep uh, I know you can't tell in the picture um, and there's the nine millimeter receiver um, it's a little it's not quite you know perfect I wasn't going for uh, you know perfection here I just wanted to go for a good you know quality homemade pipe Wow, my camera's picking up that wood grain quite a bit there. Uh, this is peach tree. If you were looking at the top of the cut, there's uh, the the rings, the years of the rings there, and uh, I tried to keep that intact. So it was, you know, a little bit more than just a shape for uniqueness. It's uh, it it it's also got some character to it and I like it quite a bit I'm not a, a perfectionist and I don't have to have my pipes perfect some may some may not um, but I like it just how it is unique shape unique style uh, fits pretty pretty good I smoked it that's part of the reason why it's so black um, I also put a stain on it. Now, my camera is not able to show you the uh, the dark side of this. It's actually a little bit darker than what it's showing. Uh, maybe there. See, it's kind of dull. It's not shiny. Uh, there's nothing too spectacular done to it yet. I was thinking about shellacking it. Um, I'm not sure if I got any or not, so I'm going to have to... Uh, possibly go down and buy some. Uh, I might might wax it, like most of, most of you guys that are pipe polishers and stuff. I've seen you guys using the Carnuba wax. That's all fine and well, um, but I don't have a buffing wheel, so I can't really give you a. Uh, a really good uh, polish on this thing until I get a grinder and a polishing wheel. But I'll still smoke it and let my uh, finger oils and everything kind of uh, do the trick. And I'm starting to come up on uh, my time because if I go over, then my phone says, You need Wi Fi. So. So, pipe smokers, until next time, keep puffing and be happy. Take care.